Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to Anha channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you with the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so. Because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make Shopify store very unique without having to rely life on those expensive teams or hire on those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you be the judge, now respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one of the most requested videos, which is how to make the slideshow images clickable on your Shopify store and for both the down team on the other variants, I mean sense and refresh, as well as horizon team and the new variants. So whatever, if you're using down team or any of the previous teams, which is my favorite by the way, or you're using horizontal team, no worries. In this video, we'll help you out actually on making the slideshow slides clickable on your Shopify store by setting each slide with a different URL. And of course, by using your own custom code and each team requires different codes, but I got you both. I, I will provide you with a code for both of them and completely free. So what else you need, man? What else you need? I'm just joking, I actually need something for you. If this video helped you out, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. It takes a lot of time to make things like this, especially the video and talking and stuff. So I would appreciate just a like button and a comment. I do reply to each comment. So if you reply to, if you leave a comment, I would reply to you. It's a win-win situation and it's free, both of them free. I mean the cold and the like and the comments as well. <laughs> Without anyone talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video adds small customizations, but video like 60 or 70, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this all in one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy all in one place and is filterable. If I click on the tab for Google, only the reviews from Google and so on for the others. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you, come on, here it is, recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, no applications involved, and it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, for who to show up to, first time visitors, returning visitors, as well as the interval between each one and the position and the colors and many, many more options that you don't even need. I add them for you just in case and not just these two. There is a many, many stuff I added in this Shopify store, sections, functions, many other things. So if you want to level up, make sure to check out the channel, man. But as I said, I will show you how to make the slideshow slides clickable on your Shopify store for both down and horizon. But for now, let me do it first on down, which is the easiest one. Actually, both of them are easy. Then we will do demonstration on horizon. So the first thing I'm going to do is get back to, oops, you see this one? This is actually an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and it triggered by the mouse cursor. Once I try to leave, I was trying to access the dashboard, then it will show up and remind the user how many products in the car. Yes, by using your own custom call, no applications involved, and it's exit and 10 trigger. Make sure to check out the channel, man, for the many time. I apologize. I will quit now. So let me get back to Shopify dashboard. If you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on all lifestyle, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find a specific file. Instead of looking at the folders like this, use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in slide show, just like you see. And you will see this file right here, slideshow.liquid. Make sure to access this one, click on it. A bunch of liquid files will show up, no worries. Click on the code just like you want to write something. Then on your keyboard, if you are using Windows, click on Command, or sorry, Control F. I'm on your Mac, I'm going to click on Command F, and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page. And this prompt will help us find a specific section on the code. And after the prompt show up, simply scroll down the description box, and you will see a link to my website. Click on it, and it will take you to this website right here. And after that, scroll a little bit and you will see this 
uh, code right here as you can see this is the code for down and the others and by the others i mean sensor refresh and so on so you get the idea so in here we need to find this this section right here. simply select this one copy it right then get back in here and paste it in the prompt so we can find it then click on enter and it will highlight on the code as you can see and this is the section we need to find after it did highlight it on the code get back to my website then copy this one right here copy this code. use the, the this button right here at the top right corner of the code click on it like this and it will copy the code then when we get back in here then scroll like use this one if you don't have the uh, trackpad like me use this one like this to the right corner then click front of it like this if there is no space like this make sure to hit space to add some space. let me zoom in actually so you can see make sure to click on space to add space then simply paste the code in here that was very simple right simply pass the code then get back to my website again for the second time then copy this second code right or copy this one first so you can find it copy this one let me select it then copy it then get back in here and paste it in the prompt that would help us the find the first code paste it in here then click on enter again and it will highlight it on the code in here again on the second time get back to my website then copy this code again using the icon at the top right Then get back in here and in here you need to be a little bit careful so you see this comma right here click front of the comma below the section that we did find image picker click on the comma this one with the closing bracket and comma click front of it then hit enter on your keyboard then paste in the code in the space that we did create now by using enter paste in the code and just for aesthetics let me actually move these to align with the, the other code and this is optional it will work either way just to make things look more clear now after you do, you do so click on the save button after it save it we will get back now to the team editor and check if we have the link option click on customize and after that let's just add the slideshow in here so slideshow here it is slideshow and now the slideshow if i click on the first slide as you can see this is the slideshow and this is a slide slide so the first the one which is image here is as you can see it has the option for a, a link for an image sorry let me add an image this one and below is the link as you can see if i click on it you can select any link you want let me select the wishlist page which is a wishlist system on your shopify store without the apps I did that video as well so let's just click on the save button we will get back in here and see if that's actually clickable and to the wish list image is a little bit large it will take time so if i click on the on the image like this the wish list system and here is the wish list system as you can see you can remove wish lists you can add them to the cart you can view products what else you need with the header icon on the header what else you need so now we did the trick for down team Let's just do the trick now for Horizon on the other variants as well. So let's just get back in here. Let's just exit from the team editor. Now for Horizon, as you can see, this is Horizon. Click on the three dots or left of customize, then click on edit code. Then after that, it will take you to the code editor again. Then use the search bar, same as before. Use the search bar to find the specific file. And this file is called underscore, type in underscore, then slide. Just like you see, and you will see underscore slide dot liquid make sure to access this file there is many slide files make sure to access underscore that uh, underscore slide dot liquid click on it bunch of code will show up no worries now get back to my website then scroll down a little bit and click on this button and download file it will actually be two files one is dot liquid file and the other one is uh, dot javascript file then simply will actually be named same as this file so the liquid file would be named same uh, underscore slide dot liquid simply open that file uh, underscore slide dot liquid open it with any text editor on your computer then copy the whole code inside it then simply get back in here click on Control a to select the whole code remove it then pasting the code in my file here so we will replace the previous code with the new code now click on the save button not yet we're almost done after it's saved now we need to find another file so use the search bar again same use the search bar and type in slide show just like you see and this is where you need to be careful because there is another slideshow that liquid here but it's a snippet it's inside the folder snippet we need to find 
slideshow that liquid that's inside the section folder. As you can see, this is section folder. Below it, here is slideshow that liquid. Do not access the one in snippets. So pay attention, please. Do not access the one in snippets. Access the file that's in sections, which is a section. Click on it, and a bunch of code will show up. No worries. And in here, above schema, as you can see, this one, the green schema above it, in case there is no space, it will be like this. Simply click front of the last thing. My case is uh, the closing tag for div. Then click on enter on your keyboard. Here is we created the new space. The next thing you're going to do is open the JavaScript file that you did download from my website, which will be called JavaScript to section slash forward slash uh, slideshow that liquid. Open that file with any text editor again, the JavaScript file, open it with any text editor, copy the whole code inside it, then simply pass it in here. That's simple again, right? Then let's just click on the save button, wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, it's save it. Now we will get back in here uh, to the team editor actually, because we need to add it, we didn't add it yet. And we'll click on customize button. So let's just add the slideshow in here, slide, slideshow, and here it is. Now, if I click on image, as you can see, this is slide and this is another slide. So if I click on slide, it should show me here image. As you can see, if I pick the image, let's just pick the same picture as before. And here is the link option, as you can see. If I click on it, I can select again, same wish list, but I don't have wish list on this team. Just for demonstration, you can enable if you want to open it in new tab or no. I'm gonna uh, keep it the same. If I click on the save button, let's just preview the team now and see if that would work. Here it is. So now here it is. If I click on it to the wishlist page, as you can see, now slideshow images are clickable and you can set each image with your own custom link by using your own custom code. And that's how you make the slideshow slides images clickable on your Shopify store for both down team and horizon team. So if you have any requests, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.